I am going to share with you two customer service experiences I had um, when I was um, in Johor. Just I just came back from Johor about a week ago and I got amazing experiences. We were in Pasigogo for um, the flood distribution, uh, victims distribution of money, donations, groceries. Um, and en route there, we have experienced some um, customer service experiences. Yeah? Uh, the first experience I had was not a very positive one. Uh, it was at a hotel that we stayed in in Malacca. And uh, I ordered this, the, the sahur uh, meal, which was supposed to come at 5 o'clock. Yeah? And you know that <clears throat> we start fasting at 6 a.m. in the morning, right? 5 a.m., the food was not there. And then I made a call at 5.10 because it's like I'm going to give them some time. So um, 5.10, the food was not there. And there was a lot of excuses. They said, okay, we'll, we're going to find a, no, no, the, 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 the food and we're going to send it over to your room. 5.30, the food was not there. And please note that you know we only have that short period of time for us to eat. And that was supposed to last us the whole day of fasting. And by 5.45, they said, yeah, we made a mistake. There was a, a, a mix-up in the, the, the food um, order, uh, but we'll send it to you. And I said, there's no point in sending. And they sent the food at 5.50. And that was like, what, five minutes before the time that we we're supposed to start our fast? So I said, no, I returned the, I returned the food. It does not make any sense. And, um, you know, there was a lot of excuses. It was not a very pleasant experience. And Zill and I were like, you know, this is the last time we're ever going there. And the one of the things that we, you know, as um, business owners, as organizations, is to create an ex an, 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 uh, a positive uh, customer service experience. That is so important in your business. So that was, that was like a no-no. And the next day, somehow, they tried to salvage their... The, the experience for us, the manager came to see us and promised a lot of things. Well, we'll see if we can turn that experience around. And then, um, you know, we stayed in a, you know, we went to Desaru and then we we're off to um, uh, Sinar Eco Resort where we stayed in. And the experience was totally different from the first experience we had um, at the hotel, the first hotel that we had. That hotel in Sinar Eco was such a positive experience because we said, you know, we're fasting. We understand that, you know, there's the 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 meal is not really ready at 4 a.m. We said just something simple is fine for us because you know we're in a resort that's really remote. It's not it's far away from any any uh, mini marts. Um, so we understood that you know that they won't be able to cater a meal for us at 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. And you know what? The 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 experience was so positive. They went over and above what we expected. They not only, you know, took a, a fresh fish <laughs> out of their pond to cook for us at 5 a.m. <coughs> there were like six, seven dishes that they presented to us for our sour meal. And they said it was on the house. And I felt like that was something that was totally unexpected. That was something that we... We would not even expect them because we understand it is a business and you don't have you don't have sahur breakfast. It's fine. We're just asking you know for some sandwiches or something light. We'll pay for it, you know. And they gave over and above what we expected. So do you think I'm gonna go back to Sinar Eco Resort again? Of course I am, and I'm gonna start promoting. I'm gonna tell my friends how positive that experience was for me, and this is why. It's so important for you to know who your ideal clients are and give them the experience that they are expecting or not expecting, but in a positive way. And after that, you know, you, you build that relationship and that's how you start to grow your business. That's how word of mouth marketing happens. That's how, that's how you know, um, uh, positive experiences are shared and not only within the community, but also across communities worldwide you know with social media we can market worldwide in a, in, a, in a positive way so those are the customer service experiences that i love to share with all of you one of the things as a customer i would not like to hear excuses as a leader i would not i would not like to hear excuses and especially as a leader we do not want to give excuses right we don't give excuses we don't stand for excuses so that is something that 
um, it's, it's so important. Have a no excuses policy in your organization. And if there's a, a, a problem, you know, everybody must come together and solve it at the fastest time. If the first experience that I had, if the, 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 the people who were supposed to bring out my meal knew that they, you know, they made a mistake with the order, what they could do was just send whatever was available to us and I'm okay with it. You know, you don't have to start cooking and it does not make any sense when we start fast at 6 o'clock and you send the meal at 5.50. It does not make any sense, right? So they could have they could have salvaged that by, you know, by 5.10 when I made that call, they could have just sent across something and gave us the order, gave us the food that we wanted and we would be okay with that, right? And they can make it up later on, right? So that would have turned around the whole experience, the whole experience of that 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 uh, stay at the hotel. And for uh, our experience in Sinar Eco Resort, it was something that we didn't expect. We were ready to stay there. We were ready to have a smaller meal, and it was fine. But they gave us that experience, which was really touching. Which was something that you know they didn't even they didn't even want to charge us for it because it was you know they say oh this is on the house for your sahur. And that made us feel really, really good. So I would like you to think, who are your ideal clients? What kind of experience do you want them to feel? Have a no excuses policy in your organization and treat all your customers with love and respect. So with that, have a great week ahead, everyone. Love and respect, y'all.